All right, so I am going to group some clips. I'm going to explain grouping clips and the audio involved with grouping clips. Uh, this is for obviously people using more than one camera at a time, which hopefully you'll be on a multi-camera shoot one day, even a corporate thing, and uh, you'll be so happy when you learn how to group clips. So what do I have here? I have two clips. One's named Cam A and Cam B. I have two cameramen into the same spot. They were going backstage after the Maury show to get people, right? So I have one camera recording this woman and we see the other cameraman walks into the room right so I can just find if I can find the camera here's the other cameraman walking in the room and there's the other cameraman there so we have this scene in a sense and it's only a minute 30 but we have these this action going on and there's two cameras and why I want to sync them and I want to be able to group them in Avid so I can work with them as one clip so very simply you're going to highlight each clip. You would want to your, your clip to, that's going to be first to be on top. So sometimes when you're going to group a clip, I'll show you in a minute, you're going to want to make sure your clips are in the right order. So in this case, I may, whatever, it's fine. I want cam A over cam B. I'm going to highlight both of them. And I'm going to go to clip, group, clips. I know the keyboard shortcut, control, shift, G, because I do use this a lot. So I'm going to, again, highlight it, control, shift, G. And now I get this little dialog box. How do you want to sync these clips? So I'm going to show you in a little bit how to do it by marking your own endpoints. But if you were lucky and if it's a professional shoot, most cases, hopefully, they re recorded it by time code. That would be much easier. And look what happens here. Avid creates this group clip. Now, if I double click this into the monitor, what you're going to see here is a clip that has two options so when you click this option up here it's it's going to show you the clip is either cam a or cam b and in which case you can switch either one to the other i don't really do that up here too much except to deal with the audio and i'll show you that in a second so how are we going to bring this into the timeline let's do this now i know they record eight audio tracks but i only need channels one and two and I'm going to make sure I'm on cam A, which I am, and I'm going to just insert edit this into my timeline, right? And now I have cam A. Now imagine if I wanted to get cam B audio underneath it, right? So what you're going to see happen here is no matter what happens, the audio even if I switch from camera B to camera A, you're only going to see the audio from camera A. You're only going to see the audio from the first clip that you made the group from. So the way to change that is to click this button right here called Audio Follow Video. Now when I'm on Audio Follow Video, and now when I go to cam B here, and I just do the audio, now cam B is in there. It's a very kind of confusing concept at first for anybody dealing with group clips because in theory you want to have the two different audios especially in this case camera B is in one part of the room camera A might be in another so I want to be able to use all the audio and some people if you don't know how to use this button audio file video you'll be like why can I never see camera B's audio so hopefully that helps people out with some of that so should I show you a big group clip now? Yeah, let's do the big group clip right now. So now I'm going to show you something from the set of the show when uh, somebody else already grouped. Uh, double click this. Right, so this group has 11 clips in the group, not just two like we did. I just did on the one before. We have 11 different shots, different feeds, and they were put in order. There's a program for the director's line cut, and then each individual camera were all in here. Here's nine. You can actually even set up a button to see the other two, so that's 11. And the same thing, but the same thing applies. You would put these clips in order in a, in a bin any way you want to. You would hit Control Shift G. In this case, you would do it with source time code. Hit OK, and bam, you're going to get that group clip which you can access all nine cameras and now I'm going to show you um, one thing to do if, if we had to do the in clip and I'm going to show you how to edit it so the way I would edit this in this case is Definitely. 
Wow, that's really, really loud. I hope that wasn't so loud. Oh, no. Okay. So the way I'm going to edit this is things. to add edit. And I'm going to right-click on the clip. And I can change now wherever I want to go. So this hug, I want to go back and forth between A and B. And that's the way I do it. I just add edit. And I hit A. And I hit B. Add edit is here. I actually have a C, C, uh, C board. Uh, C keyboard shortcut can I say that of C but I'm just showing you here and for anybody that doesn't have a keyboard shortcut for that add edit key and so you have the group clip and you're just going back and forth and if I don't oh, I'm in like that I'm gonna go to B all right let's keep that going a little longer and this goes goes back to A and this whole clip right now is A but let's make a cut here and make it to B so that's one way that you can go back and forth on the group clip definitely better than going back up into the source and doing that stuff so that's the way I whenever I work with group clips even let's bring in this uh, shot here and what it will be interesting to talk about the audio in a sense you have this group clip with all these different cameras and the audio for all these different cameras but I only want the audio to follow the program cut of, of the first track so it's gonna program one and two program program that is the director's mix that is the audio guy from the truck but if I wanted to isolate a certain camera because they have everybody's individual mic on certain cameras and Maury's mic is on a certain camera I would go audio follow video and then I would go to that corresponding mic say camera two and now I would see channel one is now with camera two you can see it by that little checkbox there so that is a huge uh, thing to do group clips but then I don't want to forget that so I'm gonna go back I'm gonna hit audio follow video and go back to my program now it's set to the right audio channels will come in as uh, audio channels one and two so what happens here is same thing so we're uh, I can switch with the right clicking of which channel I want to do and same thing I would add edit I would not add edit the audio. I would only want to be on V1. I would add edit and I would hit camera two and I would change it from camera two because you're seeing the jib and I would go to the jib and maybe I go backstage to camera five and then I go to camera six. Right? So that's the way to, that I use group clips. You can do everything with keyboard shortcuts if you really wanted to. You can map, you know, your keys and just, you can play it along and hit the buttons when you want to do it. It's obviously a different way to do it if you're doing it all the time like that. I'm fine with the add, edit, right click. Uh, my brain works well with that. So the only other thing I want to show you is the group clips that are not grouped by time quote. Imagine that it is a horror, it is not fun, but we can do it um, so I'm gonna go and I'm just going to bring in this clip and imagine this other clip had no time code connected to it and I'm just gonna bring the audio down uh, to a track below it and bring the video whoops oh gosh oh my gosh I just dropped the whole webcam thing we'll have to <laughs> All right, so I'm back. I have now this camera A and camera B on different tracks, right? And now in this case, imagine, you know, they started out, you know, they're, they're not synced at all. One clip might be a lot shorter and one camera came on a lot later than another one, stuff like that, right? So you just have this mess of stuff and you've got to figure out what the matching in point is. Now, obviously one way easier way to do that would be to use the waveforms. So I would find the certain in and I would match it to the other in. Let's just imagine in this case that it was this point. I know it's not. And what I would do is mark an in on camera A. Now my in point's on camera A. And then I would mark an in on camera B. Now imagine this was the case and they're at these two different things. So now you have these two in points and the same thing, control shift G. And I would do it by in points. And now it's going to group another clip that is not going to be synced up. But if you did sync up the in points correctly, even if the time code didn't match, you would have a very good group clip that you could go back and forth and cut between. It's going to match the audio if you did it uh, right. 
sometimes you could be wrong by a frame or two. You know, that's the tough part about um, syncing it just by your ear and just by looking at the waveform. So you want to be very careful with that. But that is group clips 101 and thanks very much go to avabeer.com to see the 2018 course and i'll see you in the next video